Do we have a delivery? Damn, super light. That's nice. Sick. Well, okay then. Hey guys, you have probably seen this guitar all over social media by now. I'm slightly late to the party, but the wonderful people at Enya have hooked me up with the Novago Sonic to bring you a review so we can see what all the fuss is about. <laughs> It's actually the electric sibling of Enya's popular Nova Go guitar. It's made of carbon fiber and it sits at around $350, making it incredibly affordable, providing a great option for guitarists who are on a budget but are after some versatility. There's some pretty whack things about this guitar, which we're gonna dive into, including this. It's a speaker. I've never had a guitar with a speaker in it before. So we've got six strings, uh, six D'Addario XL strings, actually. We've got 22 medium high crown copper nickel silver alloy frets. It's made of carbon fiber composite and the body shape is a modern Les Paul style with satin finish. It's got two Enya custom dual coil humbuckers, a main knob, pickup selector, volume knob, speaker, a USB-C charging port, a headphone jack and your regular guitar jack. The speaker is 10 watts and it has an onboard effects processing system which makes it a smart guitar. Okay let's do a tone test. So this is the Nova Go Sonic plugged into my interface running through Neural DSP Cori 1. Seeing as it's a smart guitar, we have, of course, got some added technology inside. So we've got this big knob here, uh, the main one, and if you hold it down, it activates the smart part of the guitar. It goes green. You get access to four different tones, so we've got clean, overdrive, distortion, and high gain. So the moment we've all been waiting for, let's hear how it sounds through the onboard speaker. <laughs> That was insane. I can feel the air coming out of the guitar, out of the speaker, which is whack. I wasn't expecting that, it's kind of weird. <laughs> I think that's a vibe. <laughs> but like that, do we? I'll see how it is. I mean, that's pretty fun. I wasn't expecting it to, to be so vibey. It actually made me feel quite inspired, which is a good sign. If we pair that up with the app as well, let's see what we can get. So we got the real setting. And then if we go to times. Decent, to be honest. That The pickups really kick out something. It's pretty good. 
Yeah, I'm quite impressed with the presets. Like I wasn't expecting them to be suited. The Brock tone sounds really, really good. <laughs> So even though you're just unplugged, right? You're just using the presets that are within the guitar and you're not running through any of your usual plugins. You still have a lot of options and all of them sound pretty good, to be honest. And you can go on and edit them if you want to as well. So you can get exactly what you're looking for. But um, I'm very impressed with that. I wasn't expecting them to sound quite as good as that, especially through the speaker. Like I would happily go and sit in my bedroom outside, you know, if I'm on a little holiday or something like that, like just chill with the guitar and have it playing on the speaker and I would be satisfied with that. So you can download the Enya app to get far more control over the guitar and the tones you've got and I would highly recommend doing that. You have your four tone groups, you've got clean, distortion, overdrive and high gain but within those four tone groups you have four individual presets as well and the best way to experiment with these and to edit them is obviously to connect the guitar to the app. You can also create presets and save them to your bank so you always have access to your favourite tones, which is pretty cool. And you can adjust your parameters in the guitar tone menu. I, I don't really know what to compare it to, it's like nothing I've ever tried before really. On the guitar itself front, it's got quite an interesting feel, obviously being carbon fibre, it's going to feel a little bit different. It is extremely lightweight, like it's, it's, yeah, it's very, very lightweight. I also quite like the cutaway on here. I normally feel very limited with 22 fret guitars and especially on like single cut style guitars. Guitars, but because they've got this nice little like bevel cutaway, you can get up to that 20 second fret like no issues at all, which I really like. It's really really clean and the, the satin finish is actually really nice. It doesn't look or feel cheap in my opinion. And another thing to mention, I think the pickups are actually sick. I wasn't expecting them to sound as good as they do, but they really like nail it, especially on like the high gain stuff. It cuts through, it's not muddy, and uh, you can get some really decent tones out of it, so I'm a big fan. Another tiny little thing to mention is just the cute little inlay that you've got across the 12th fret. I like that. It's a nice touch. I feel like it's just that it sets it apart a little bit from just having the regular bog standard like dot inlays. It looks very slick. The only thing I would say with the speaker, like it wouldn't be loud enough for you to busk with or anything like that. So you would just have to bear it in mind. This isn't necessarily a guitar that would be suited to that, but like it's loud enough if you're just sat at home or if you're in the garden, whatever. I just want to say a big thanks to Enya for hooking me up with the Novago Sonic. I had so much fun checking it out. And if you guys would like to check it out too, you can head to the link in my description. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video remember to like and subscribe for more content from me and i will catch you in the next one see you later sick